Hello Mewlis, in this video I am going to show you how to apply uh, IP whitelisting or IP allow list or IP blacklist or block list uh, policies. So one thing before applying the policies I would like to show you. Once you click on apply new policy there are four set of uh, policies related to IP addresses. IP allow list, IP blacklist, IP block list and IP, IP whitelist. If you see here there are two policies which are deprecated that is uh, IP whitelist which was deprecated and the other one is IP uh, blacklist which is deprecated so I can relate it to like IP whitelist or IP allow list are one and the same and IP block list or IP blacklist are one and the same how can I say that one and the same is because uh, first of all the terms relates like IP whitelist whitelist is nothing but you are allowing some set of IP addresses only to have access to your APIs okay that is called whitelisting the allows list is one and the same if you click on choosing the policy and click on configure policy here it is asking for you to choose the attributes whatever it is and then uh, you you will need to add the allow list like set of IP addresses that you wanted to add who can be allowed to access your API so if I go back here and click on add policy and if you check IP whitelisting which is deprecated you can see it is almost one and the same so whitelisting or allow list or blacklisting or block list are one and the same so I'm going to show you IP allow list and IP um, block list uh, in this video because the other two policies are already deprecated you can use the same thing same format in your policies if you want to use in IP blacklist and whitelist okay so first things I wanted to show you IP allow list so before applying this policy I would like to show you that no policy is applied for my API currently and you can see uh, I have created a simple restful application which displays the attributes so out of these attributes you can see if you want to extract some kind of IP address then you can see x real IP or x forward for there are Two places where you can extract this IP address so currently I wanted to use X forward for because that is one of the recommended one here if you click on IP allow list configure policies here you can see right mule expression to extract IP address from API request is this one okay by default there is IP dot remote address remote address is something different you can see here right remote address is displaying that is not my IP address so I would like to use x forward for which is this value and uh, so I would like to copy this value and pass it this one first I would like to send uh, you know configure a different IP address other than mine you can just click on plus if you want to add individual IP addresses or here you can see right you can you can pass like more than one IP addresses by comma separated something like this like 83 and all or you can define the range of IP addresses like 192.168.0.1 by 16 so okay currently I am configuring a wrong IP address which is other than mine and just I'll click on add and apply the policy okay as I always say you guys have to wait for some time to get this policy applied once the policy is applied you can see in your runtime manager saying that so and so policy is applied or modified okay let's wait for that so you can see here right applied policy IP allow list so now if I try to send the request it will say error the IP address is invalid because my IP address is is this but the allow list which you are allowing the only IP address which you are allowing is the wrong one like 182 so what I can do is I can go ahead edit it so there is no way that you can edit the existing IP addresses so what you can do is you can remove it and add the correct one so I am clicking on apply so it says that limited list of IP addresses allowed as you can add one or more by comma separated example at least one IP address is required so 
so you can see here now ip address is added i will click on apply again as i said you have to wait for the policy to be uh, applied i'll just wait for it and if you send the request you can see now you are able to access the api so this is how you can buy ip whitelist or ip allow list is one and the same you can do the same configuration for both ip allow list and whitelist now i will remove this policy okay or i wanted to show you one more thing if you are applying ip allow list and if along with ip allow list if you try to apply ip block list it will say the requirement has already been fulfilled why because either you can use ip allow list or block list that is nothing but if you are using ip allow list that means apart from this ip address all other ip addresses are in block list or blacklist so there is no way for you to, it will be a contradictory thing if you apply both ip allow list and ip block list at a time okay because ip allow list is nothing but you it will allow ip addresses only for those ips and the rest of the ips are already in block list or blacklist so there is no meaning in applying both policies so to apply blacklist you would have to remove this policy and click on new policy here again and uh, you can go for blacklist which is deprecated so i won't use that i will use basically block list so configure the policy now again so again i wanted to extract the ip address from x forward for paste it so i would like to go now i want to blacklist or block list my ip address so sorry so why this error is coming directly you are clicking on apply because if you want to add any ip address just don't forget to click this plus symbol here okay and then apply so wait for a second to get it applied so you can see here my policy has been applied now so if i send the request okay it's not yet applied let me wait for some time i'll just cross check my details go to api manager send the request somehow it is giving the okay i will copy this one again i will try okay you can see here actually the policy is applied now that's the reason it was actually not working earlier but now if i send the request here it will say that ip address is invalid that means it's not invalid basically it doesn't make sense the statement doesn't make sense but basically it's it is saying that uh you are basically block listing this ip address so it is invalid for this api okay if you want to make a change that if you want to go here and remove this and probably if you want to apply some other one and click on apply again the same mistake i have done click on plus and then apply wait for this policy to get applied until it shows that the policy is modified or applied you keep seeing the same response which happened earlier okay now you can see ip policy is applied okay you can see here it is applied now if i try to send the request i will be able to see my details on access the api because i am not block listing my ip address so this is a small video on how to apply ip whitelist allow list so all these like ip allow list and white list are one and the same and ip blacklist and block list are one and the same and don't forget that only one policy can be applied at a time out of these four because white list if you are applying by default the block list is also applied for us so hope you like this video